How do you think uh, being based in Asia is an advantage, helps you think differently uh, than maybe some of the other products that, uh, that people are used to using? Um, is there anything that kind of sticks out in your mind about the geographic location, um, uh, either of you and other people on the team's experience over the years in finance, kind of working in various cities uh, across Asia, uh, or also just living there now and, and kind of uh, spending day to day? Um, I love living in Asia. I lived there for the last 15 years and, and thoroughly enjoyed my entire time. Um, I think there's definitely some experiences that, that we're using. And in particular, around that derivatives piece. So as I mentioned earlier, you know, you, you need that derivatives piece to really um, offer the entire spectrum of risk control and risk management and exposure. Um, but building just, you know, if I build it, will they come? That, that concept doesn't work so well. You know, you need to understand why people are coming. And in Asia, there's the traditional finance there's an extremely prevalent structure products market. Um, and that's primarily driven by retail investors effectively using structured products to get exposure that they, they want in traditional financial markets, you know, be it through FX or equities or, or, um, or other products. Um, and knowing to them that, you know, that they're generating a return and they're giving themselves a certain pathway or structure through that product. But that really is bringing off the side of the volatility market. Which is the measure of you know how options are priced, um, and it extremely, um, extremely interesting is that it's actually the almost the tail that wags the dog in Asia when it comes to the volatility markets. What price is options? It's the retail guys who are selling are actually determining the price for the, it, which institutions trade volatility all the way up to index level, um, and. We've seen that and we've experienced that. We've sat there, you know, on derivatives trading desks in Asia and watched as this flow of retail capital into structured products has driven institutional trading into the um, And so what we're doing with our investment products division, which is again a kind of key part of this building, is putting together those those structured products that can be distributed you know, via the wealth management platforms and, and private banks to those same investors. And, and what that will do is bring back into the exchange all of the volatility that they're selling, the offer side of those options. And so we understand you need both sides. You can't just build an exchange and expect people to trade. You need someone to buy and someone to sell. And really that, that experience in Asia of the structured product market and having hired a great team to, to build that for us, um, that's where we think we're going to differentiate ourselves in, in, in the options market because we, we know how to bring both sides of the trade there. There's plenty of people who want to trade volatility, trade options on crypto, want to buy calls, want to buy puts, want to get that sort of exposure. Finding the other side of that a little bit more difficult, understanding that that comes from the retail piece, Packaged and restructured through the structured product market is, I think, um, a key difference and one of the key things that we've all experienced from our time in Asia. 